Yep, we've all been there. You start out on a 2D as socks, then you start searching on the internet for solutions. You open our station on Instagram and see so many amazing arts, and the journey to that level of perfection looks distant. Well, here are seven tips that helped me over the years from relying on tutorials to personal projects that I am proud of. Using references is an essential tool for any 2D artist as it saves time, effort, and gives you a clear guide for accuracy and realism. By studying references of an art that you want to create or references in real life, it gives you new ideas as you notice unique features and details that won't have been obvious to you and in return that pushes your art to new heights. Me personally, I use Pinterest and ArtStation for reference gathering when I'm about to start a new project. This is a vital skill for 3D artists, whether you are a beginner or a pro. The ability to notice the smallest of details when analyzing your references, from the consistency of the textures on your model to the storytelling behind it, all that will make your art stand out from the hold of art being posted online. Improving your lighting skill will greatly help. I would recommend you watch Kaizen's tutorial on how to create professional materials as that will take your texturing from a beginner to being a pro in texturing. And I will also want you to check out Ryan King's channel on how to create materials procedurally on Blender. I don't mean mindlessly following tutorials as a lot of beginners fall into that trap. What I mean is the constructing other people's art that you find appealing, trying to figure out how they went from start to finish and the techniques that they used and how you can add them to your own workflow. Because learning from others can expose you to new techniques and approach as they will help broaden your horizon and make you develop your own style. As I always say, Buy courses and watch tutorials not because of the end results, but because of the process that they took to get to that end result. Well, there are a lot of places to get tutorials from, like Flip Normals and also here on YouTube. I will leave their links in the description below for you to check out. This has to be a crucial tip in improving your art as it will greatly help you in identify your blind spots, your strengths and weaknesses, improve the quality of your renders and also make you learn from your mistakes. Getting feedback from seniors in the industry can create a fresh perspective as it will make you understand where you're good at and places that you need to improve on. I know getting a lot of likes on your art will be a good feeling, but ask for constructive criticism as they would help you in the long run as you could with the artists. When feedback is being given to you, detach your emotions from them and be ready to take those advice. You can join a community on Discord, on Facebook, or on your different social media platforms and make sure you understand the feedback that is given to you and also take notes. Use Blender. Just use Blender. Blender is an amazing software with lots of features from modeling, to animation, to scripting, and geometry nodes, which is a feature that is nearly added. But I want you to hear me out for a moment. I know we hold Blender to a very high standard, but as a 3D artist, you need to be flexible and find tools that would increase your workflow efficiency and improve the quality of your models. You want to learn how to texture faster and better, use Substance Painter. You want to create multiple baking maps and presentation of your models. Use Momo said to bag. Use every resource in your power to attain perfection or at least close to it. By investing in good tools and software, you will increase your efficiency and create visually appealing models faster. You already know the quotes. Practice makes perfect. Well, practice and don't help you master the skill needed to create complex and high quality models. Also, in improving your modeling technique, develop muscle memory and increase your speed and accuracy when modeling. Practicing helps identify your weakness in the craft and makes you refine it to get a good result. This also helps you as an artist as you develop a consistent style and quality in your art. Do multiple exercises. Take your time to practice your craft daily. It could be 30 minutes to 12 hours of practice. 
practice on where your weaknesses are and in a couple of months you will see results it is better to grow one percent every day than to grow a hundred percent just in one day this last tip may sound counterintuitive to the previous tip but i think it's a very important one we as theory artists we know what it is to work for long hours on a single project and taking breaks may seem like having a lazy attitude but Taking breaks at the interval when powering through a project will give your body and mind time to relax and recharge. This will also give you a fresh perspective when you return to your workstation and look at your art with fresh eyes. You will also focus way better and be more productive. But don't just take undefined breaks because that will be helpful to your art progress. Instead, plan small breaks and set a couple of hours to relax no matter what. Okay. A final note, as a beginner your art is going to suck for a while. All of us started 3D because we were inspired by an art we saw somewhere, so we have great art taste. But our inexperienced skill is way too untrained to keep up with the taste and your art is going to be bad compared to those that you look up to, so you're going to be a student for a while. So you need to practice and you need to practice a lot, strive to be better each time. Know that you're a work in progress and the learning journey doesn't end. If you want to see the result of how these tips has helped me grow over the years, watch this video.